Yo, YouTube, this is Jordan Steele 88 coming at you with another video. Title this video Panthers vs. Tar Heels game recap. So let's get into it. So the Pitt Panthers lose to the Tar Heels 41 24. Well, excuse me. Sorry about that, y'all. Start early on in the game, it started pretty good in the first quarter because both teams were were neck and neck in the first in the first quarter. And then and in the second quarter, the, the Tar Heels they came back and scored 21 unanswered points in the second quarter. 21 unanswered points in the second quarter. Pitt's mistakes and Pitt's penalties killed. Killed them in in that in the second quarter. Pitt has too many penalties throughout this game. We're going to talk about because Pitt has so many penalties in this game, so many mistakes in this game. Twenty one unanswered points in the second quarter by the Tar Heels. In the third quarter, it started out promising, but they they had that. No, nah, they scored they scored about about thirteen points though, but. But Pitt just couldn't get a lot of things going, especially in the fourth quarter. Nobody couldn't get anything going. I mean, I mean, North, I mean, North Carolina, they got a pretty good football team. They're not just a basketball school. It's just that Pitt just made too many mistakes. Penalties and turnovers killed them. Just because the backup quarterback, Christian Vanulix, if it's, that's his last name, I can't pronounce it, threw two interceptions. And Pitt had a chance to get within 10 points when they got that blocked punt. But on that handoff on the jet sweep, they fumbled it back to the Tar Heels. That was, that was dumb. That was like a dumbass play by the offensive coordinator. It's just, just dumb. And then, because North Carolina, they did not make mistakes at all. On offense, they did not make mistakes at all. They if they took care of the football, they play smart football, and that's why they won this game big. So, even though Pig had more sacks than North Carolina defensively, they just didn't make any splash plays. Pig just didn't, didn't do none of that stuff. They ain't, they ain't make any splash plays. Yeah, and they had that one punt return for a touchdown, which I thought was going to change the game, but didn't happen. It was by, I forgot his name, Kenny Johnson, the Pittsburgh Panthers. He was a player wide receiver. So, like I said early on, they were they were doing they were doing pretty good early on, the Pitt Panthers. But later on in the game, this is going to get a lot of things going offensively. I mean, Drake May for North Carolina, he's pretty good. He's just that good of a quarterback. So, yeah. Just mistakes and... Just too many mistakes and penalties just hurt this Pittsburgh Panther team. Because Pitt had three turnovers. One of them was a fumble recovered by the North Carolina Tigers, and two of those were interceptions. And then, the penalties. Yeah, Pitt had 11 penalties for 83 yards. Too many penalties. Like I said before, I know I'm saying it over, I've killed this team. It's too many penalties to kill too many penalties killed this team. So So that's all I gotta say for this. This one but the Russian the Russian did okay though. They did find the Russian the run the Russian did early early on did pretty good though. Cause Pitt had 110 yards rushing. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, it was starting to come. It, it looked like the offense started to turn, starting to come together, but just gonna get it go, going later on in the games. 
they're going to, in this game. Should I say? So, yeah. So that's all for this video. Hey, North Carolina Auditorium fans, if you're subscribers, members of my channel, hey, congratulations on y'all win. Good to y'all the rest of the season. So, Pitt Panthers, this is our third straight loss. If you want to be bowl eligible, we got pretty much win the remainder of our games. But it's going to be tough, though. Although we don't play Miami this year, though. But, yeah. So, that about do it for this video. This is Jordan Steel 88. Like, comment, subscribe for more Pittsburgh sports content and other sports content on my channel. See you guys in the next video. And as always, hail to Pitt.